This is a Dell Optiplex 3020 SFF that I just got today. The manufacturing date says July 6th, 2015. Anyway, I'll just put this back. For, well, unless I have something to look at that isn't just my floor. I'm going to do that. Because, well, anyway, but this thing, but the reason why this is interesting is because of the fact that this thing shipped with Windows 7 from the factory. It was made in, it was manufactured in 2015, over a week before Windows 10 was released to manufacture it. Now, I did get another computer. Recently, that being this Spartan MS-150. But that may take a bit of extra work, because it's yeah, it has it with a hard drive in it, and if it works, we're going to reboot it, and probably also install Windows in this video, because we're going to put Windows 7 on this. Because, well, this, I got this PC for a project that I was going to do, so I'm going to open this up. Let me just do this off camera, because, well, I'm going to see this. So I should mention that there is no disk drive with this system, but that is not very really concerned for us, because we're going to put Windows 7 on this thing, and, well, we don't know anything about Windows. 7, and also Windows Vista, you can install it over the flash drive. But Windows Vista later, you can install it on a flash drive. But we're not going to put XP on this thing, because this is kind of a project that isn't going to even involve Windows XP. But yeah, as you can tell, there's no hard drive, and there's also no disk drive. I also forgot to go show all the ports on the back. Kind of hard to see, but once again, that's because of the fact that I have a... But there is a VGA, a display port, six USB ports, and Ethernet, and a headphone jack and a microphone jack. And also on the front, headphone, microphone, and two more USB ports. So yeah, while well, I still have the this thing open up, I'm gonna install a hard drive in it off camera because I have a specifically not the one that came out of the thing center because I don't want to run that issue again. But since I don't know how to install hard drive in any of these things, I'm gonna have a bit of off-camera fun. Well, anyway, let's see what happens next. So I got a hard drive installed. Finally, I should probably, I don't know, at least like 30 minutes or so. Find out how to switch it. Look, there's a hard drive in there. I don't know if I actually did it properly. I need water because I'm really thirsty after that. But I. Might have gotten it installed, I'm not sure. But how we're gonna find out is by plugging this into the wall. I have the disk image that we are gonna use to win install Windows 7 on here already flashed um, to a USB stick. But we're gonna first try it without the flash drive. Um, actually, upon second thought, we're going to see if it can boot up into the flash drive. Um, so yeah, let me just get everything all set up here. All right now, all I have to do now is to just plug the thing into the wall. This is the case for every single time that I end up getting one of these systems because I don't know if it'll immediately turn on as soon as I, as soon as I you know. Let's see what happens and hope that there is no sort of fireworks show. Powering on. Alert, hard drive not found. Um. Oh boy. Let's go into the BIOS here. For whatever reason, not working. Let's see, where's the... So it seems to be working pretty much properly. System configuration. So it doesn't seem like there's a... So this...
Yes, for whatever reason, not recognizing the drive. That is not a good sign. F5. No hard drive detected. Okay, uh, I did not install the drive correctly or I have to put in an extra cable. Let's see if I can at least do... See if I can at least boot into this Windows thingy. I mean... If I can at least do that, that's a good sign because, well, for whatever reason, it can't detect the hard drive. But yeah, this is a Windows 7 disk image. And it shows up. Let's get to that screen. Okay, so yeah, it isn't showing anything. Uh, okay, um, hang on. I have not gotten a hard drive driver, so let's go pull up this, my main PC here. I do not care about backing up. No, I do not want to open up Brave again. Okay, I'm not even sure that works. Yeah, I don't think there's a required driver for this hard drive, so... Oh, boy. Well, time to... Turn this off and see what the problem is. Probably I forgot to... Probably was that our cable was being obstructed by the drive cage. Probably isn't the greatest idea. Well, let's find out what the problem is. <clears throat> Actually, we're not going to find out what the problem is because it's like 145 and I don't feel like spending even more time trying to figure this out on camera. You'll probably be able to find out whether or not I was able to get the drive installed in probably a future video if I didn't already get this video done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. You thought I was actually going to end off the video right there, did you? Well, after spending another 45 minutes tampering around involving swapping out the drive, literally getting it, uh, where is it? Uh, where did I put it? Getting this thing out so I could put another, so I could make the other, because there were different kinds of cables. And when I looked at the manual, it showed that it did not use the blue cable that I had used originally with that drive. Oh yeah, I called a dummy there. I am sorry. But yeah, as you can tell, I got Windows 7 to actually work. And so yeah, now we've got a hard drive in here with like the same amount of storage. But we're gonna install Windows 7 on here. I, uh... Yeah, I have a list of PC projects I want to do. And one of them is a... PC completely dedicated to Nanami Madobe. Yeah, what a great use for Windows 7 Ultimate on a Dell Optiplex. So, yeah, I guess let me just get this all set up again. And yeah, we'll just have to... Yeah, we'll just set this up. Which means time-lapse time, as soon as I get the thingy all going. Drive option. So yeah, we are going to create... Okay, we are not going to create mm, that much of a... We're going to create a... Do this. Yeah, create extra partitions for system files. And now, extend... Okay, actually... Forty... Forty-six... Two hundred... Forty-two... Six... Oh... How I just... Yeah, we'll just create this for... Do not... No, I do not... We are going to install this because I'm... 
I'm creating this partition just for any sort of recovery related stuff. So, anyway, I'm getting a little sidetracked. We have a 40, uh, 451.2 gigabyte partition that we're going to install this on. We're going to, instead of do this, and well, yeah, we are going to have a, we are not going to put in a password. Going to do this. Going to change this to where is the Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada. Push that down, that back down to. But yeah, it also shuts down and restarts. We're not seeing the out box experience is done. So yeah, it's not exactly ready for use yet because it does that. But as soon as that's done, you pretty much, it's pretty much all good to go. Oh yeah, this, this one. Alright. This is my... This is why I used to literally install Windows XP on anything. But, yeah, as you can see... Let's see... Go to control panel. Yeah, I haven't... In, the, you still have to install drivers. We go to system. This is what I'm pretty much referring to. 
And I've also censored that because, oh yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, as you can tell, we got an Intel Core i3 with at 3.6 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of memory. I might upgrade that to 6 or 8. The 64-bit operating system. System rating is not available, and it's a good thing because we need to, because we still gotta do some stuff. Might as well just finish this video off. As you can tell, this is an old copy of Internet Explorer. Because, well, you know, go through system information here. Yeah, total physical memory, and then we have like, yeah. But yeah, as you can tell, this is the. We have a good display. Doesn't really tell us, but that's because we need to get drivers installed. But yeah. Also, while I'm at, let's see if we can adjust the screen resolution. So we can do this. Keep changes. I don't know if we're able to... can just... We still need to get graphics drivers. And... Plus, yeah, we... Well, yeah, let's just shut this down. And with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!